Hello, my name is Louise Conahan and I am an actor and street theatre performer from Donegal. I'm here today with some top tips for you on how to perform. So the first one that I will give you about any walk of life is to breathe. So we're going to start off, we're going to take a deep breath in and we're going to breathe out. This will calm our whole system down and make it easier to remember lines and make it easier to start off with any kind of work. It's very important that we are calm, focused and ready to work. Second tip I'll give you is always, always warm up. We need our bodies to be physically awake and re ready to go. We need to have our voices warmed up. We need to have our facial expressions warmed up because those are our three non-verbal communicators. We've got our face, our voice and our body. So make sure that those are engaged and ready to go. Another tip I'll give you is spend some time just looking at yourself and seeing how you as a performer move physically. Um, notice your gait. That's how you walk. Notice how you hold yourself. You know, what, what an alteration can do. Like if I hunch over, what does that make you do? Do it age it, stand up? Just look at those types of things and how your body moves within a space. You also want to spend some time looking at your face and seeing how that works. Playing around with your voice, seeing where it can go. If you can do a very wee old voice and just seeing where the changes are. Or maybe you want to do a wee baby voice. So play with those things and see where that can take you. Um, another tip that I would have for anybody that is, specifically anybody going into screen, it is really, really important that you don't think that you can bypass theatre work. It is so, so important. Uh, mostly for discipline, but also for any kind of acting lessons and you know just learning how to be, how to characterize, you know, and spending time with other actors as well. That's really, really important that you you know you get a, get a bit of um, discipline is the main thing there that you'll get, and that'll teach you about warming up and about you know breathing exercises and things like that as well. Another thing that's very important is be prepared. No matter what role you're going into, if it's street art, if it's uh, theatre, if it's online, screen, whatever it is, be prepared. Know your character inside out. For me, I do a lot of street theatre work, so I need to know everything about the character, their background, their history, anything is public knowledge. I need to know them inside out. So that way if anybody comes to me and asks me a question, I can stay in character and I can give it back. Exercises such as hot seating or things like that, um, you'll have done in drama classes and that'll help you. But it's really, really important that we're able to give give it all. Whenever we're in theatre, we need to know how the uh, character will react, what their actions are. And then whenever we're in screen, it's important that we're able to give that kind of a spontaneous thing, but staying in character. You'll hear people who are method actors. That's a bit extreme, but what you want to do is you want to stay in character whenever you're there and so that you're able to respond to things in character. And make sure that whenever you're doing any takes that you get a couple of different, you know, you put the emphasis in different places every time so that you have a couple of different takes for the editor. Another important point for the editor, to be the editor's friend, is treat your pauses as sentences. Take time. Give those sentences time. So whenever you finish a line, give it a pause. So then that way the editor has something to work with. They're going to get those micro expressions that are there whenever you're post, um, just after finishing your sentence. You don't want to just finish your sentence and then drop it because the editor has to have a wee bit of time to let this let this breathe and, and gives it time to, to move out. Another thing is the eyes are the window to the soul. We hear this over and over and over again. So with theatre we can do the long off stairs um, or we can look directly into your audiences depending on what type of theatre we're doing. For me in street theatre it's very intense. Um, but with the, the camera acting, we have to stay in the scene. We're not acting for the crew, we're not acting for the director, we're not acting for the camera. We're acting for whoever we're in along the scene, the scene with. So whenever we act to them, everything is given to them. None of it's given over here. The camera will capture that, you know, but, but we don't need to. So the other thing is, when, with camera, with screen, we can cheat things by facing ourselves out and making sure that we're looking out onto the audience. But with screen, imagine that there's a rectangle around the screen, around this, the lens of the camera, and you can look to that direction. You don't look directly at, you don't look directly into the lens, but you look around it. Um, yeah, so that's some of my top tips. But the main one that I have is try and relax. Remember your breathing. Remember to stay focused. Remember to keep your energy nice and calm.
because that way then you'll be able to get the best out of yourself, out of your body, out of your mind and everything else. And uh, enjoy it. That's the main thing. So I hope today's tips have helped you in some way. And I'll see you real soon. Slam.